Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and this is Jar of Fireflies. Here I make videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of four. And today we're getting ready for Shavuot. All right, so Shavuot starts tomorrow night and I've been kind of prepping, I guess, since yesterday. Ha ha. <laughs> I definitely put it off. It feels like things have just been so busy around here, which is totally normal when a baby learns how to crawl. So yeah, that is totally happening. Baby Firefly is scooching all over the place, crawling around. He's super fast. He's getting into everything. We're having so much fun. It is really such a joy to watch him like explore the world around him. And he's, he's definitely enjoying it. But at the same time, like, I can't take my eyes off him, which makes him a full-time job. In addition to the other full-time jobs of motherhood and being a wife and managing a household and all the other things that I do. And that is okay. <sighs> makes me glad I dropped down to one video a week already because otherwise I'd be in a panic right now. Anyways, Shavuot is starting tomorrow night. So what is Shavuot? Okay, so Shavuot is where we as Jews are celebrating the giving of the Torah from Hashem to us on Mount Sinai. Super exciting, super fun times. Okay, so how do we celebrate it? What do we do? Obviously, we're gonna learn Torah. Yeah, it seems, I don't know, I guess that seems like kind of a gimme, but yes, there is a thing where the men will stay up all night long learning Torah, like literally all night long learning Torah. It is so much fun. They have classes going all night long. People will learn in various little groups in the neighborhoods, all kinds of things, super duper fun. Me, I am not gonna stay up all night learning because I need to be a functioning mother for my children. However, I will stay up as late as I can, uh, reading to Helen, reading Psalms, and I'll probably do a little bit of learning. I actually started today, I did a little bit of review of some, uh, some notes I had on the book of Ruth, which that's another big thing for Shavuot is we'll tell the story of Ruth, read the story of Ruth. That's like a commonly studied subject right now. Okay, so what else do we do for Shavuot? Oh, we eat dairy dairy. It's a big thing to have dairy meals instead of meat meals. Uh, normally for a holiday, we would do a meat meal, but it's very common to do the dairy meals. So lots of pastas, lasagnas, all the fun things like that, or fish things, you know, just not meat. Now my family, we usually do meat for Shavuot. However, this year we're actually going to do dairy for Thursday night. So I'm pretty excited about that because who doesn't love pasta? So I've got some raviolis that I'm gonna make. I've got all kinds of different pasta. Um, Mr. Firefly is gonna make a, um, what's the white sauce? Alfredo sauce. <laughs> An Alfredo sauce. I like to mix the Alfredo half and half with marinara, so I'll probably be doing that. I've got, of course, like canned, like Trader Joe's marinara sauce in the pantry. Anyways, so yeah, so the dairy meals. And flowers are a big thing also for Shavuot. So we will probably purchase extra flowers going into the holiday. So the holiday starts tomorrow night, which is gonna be Thursday night. And then, so then we go right into Shabbat. So we, it's two days of awesome holiday for us. And I'm so excited. Okay, so, so far what we have done for prep is yesterday I made cheesecakes. That was like my big goal for the day. I made cheesecakes. I've made cheesecakes in videos before, so I will link to those down in the description box below, at least one of them so you guys have the recipe. I use Alton Brown's cheesecake recipe. It's delicious. He puts sour cream in it. it. It never fails me. It's great. I'll try to link to the YouTube video also where he explains how to make it because when I just read the recipe, it didn't make sense to me. But when I watched it with the video, it made a lot more sense. Now I can practically make it in my sleep because it's just so good and I've been making it for years. And the day before that, Mr. Firefly and I sat down and did like some menu planning so we could be prepared because I can't put things off till the last minute. Mr. Firefly tends to put things off till more the last minute. I like to plan ahead, so that's what I do. There are some baby giggles in the background. I really hope you guys can hear that because it is just the cutest thing. Uh, my oldest is playing with baby Firefly right now. <sighs> okay, so that's basically the prep that we have done so far. So the cheesecakes are made, the menu is planned. Really no point in starting to cook until tomorrow. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I will say that our main dishes for our lunch, they're already done. So we just pulled those out of the freezer. So yeah, pretty, pretty simple prep going into this. And I'm pretty excited because that honestly is what I needed right now. <laughs> okay, so that's where we're at right now. And all of my children just woke up 
half of them are asleep, half of them are awake. Now they're all awake and they all want breakfast and things like that. So I'm gonna go handle all of that. And I don't know, I'll check back with you guys later and uh, chat a little bit more about Shabuot. This will probably be a short video. Um, honestly, wasn't even sure I was gonna even put out a video today. I was thinking about just like being like, I couldn't do it this week. So but I wanted to do something and holiday. So here I am. <laughs> Thank you for being here too. Okay, I'm gonna go take care of the kids and uh, I'll check, check back later with something, I'm sure, at some point. Okay, so one of the things that the kids really wanted to do was decorate their own slice of cheesecake. And this is because over the course of the past week or so, I've had a few groups of folks over to decorate cheesecakes, like cheesecake sampler style. You can see pictures of that over on my Instagram if you're interested. But anyway, so of course the kids saw all of this and they were like, well, we wanna decorate our own cheesecakes. And I was like, of course you do and you will. And here we are today doing it. I wanted to wait until I had like my homemade cheesecake for that because for the other things I want cheesecakes because I'm not baking 20 cheesecakes. I wish I could, that would be awesome, but yeah, no. So anyways, today is the day since I have the cheesecakes are now ready. I gave the kids each a slice. They are decorating to their heart's content. Cannot wait to see what they come up with. So anyways, that's kind of our fun little pre shoveled activity for the kids. <laughs> that's about all we're doing, but that's okay. That is fine. Okay, so, so yeah, we're doing this and I don't know, that's like our big thing for the day. We're not so exciting over here. Definitely not this week. Definitely not this week. Okay, so I'll show you guys what it looks like when they're done. Okay, so that is that, they're all done, and um, now we're getting on with our day. My bad, I did this right before lunch, so we're probably gonna have a later lunch today because definitely no one's gonna wanna eat any more food right now. But anyways, so much fun. All right, see you guys in a bit. Hello, and I guess I, just, I almost said like welcome back, but it's not really welcome back. It's just a new day for me. Okay, today is Thursday, uh, so Shavuot starts tonight. So I have really two main things to do today because the other big things I crossed off my list already. Okay, what time is it? It is just after 10 a.m. right now, and I've already gotten a lot done because I had to wake up early and take baby Firefly to the dentist. Totally fine. Just regular routine checkup. And I just scheduled it for today because I wasn't thinking that today was Shavuot. I usually check my calendar to make sure there aren't any Jewish dates going on around the time that I'm scheduling appointments for the kids. This time I forgot, but I was also like, it'll be a quick in and out, we'll be okay. And we were okay. So anyways, on the way home from that, I went by the grocery store with Baby Firefly and we picked up the last few things that we needed here for the holiday. So today, Mr. Firefly and I can cook. He is working right now, so I'm hoping to get started here early on what I wanna do, which is putting together a lasagna. So that is the first big thing that I need to get done today is making a lasagna. Uh, really, if I just kind of prepare the whole lasagna, then I'll probably just put it in the oven later on tonight, right before the holiday starts. And then the other thing that I need to do is set the table. I really wanted to have the table set last night. That's been like my new thing lately is setting the table the day before. 
Last night I was up so late just clearing off all the laundry that was on the table and putting all of that away because it had been piling up. So that was that. And by the time I finished that, I was like, and we're done. <laughs> so I didn't set the table last night, but it's like cleared off and ready for me to just set it quickly, hopefully before lunch. So those are the big things. Oh, and I got flowers at the grocery store, so I need to put those in vases. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on here. And uh, I'm gonna go see if Baby Firefly will go down for a nap so we can actually get started on some of these things. I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Okay, Baby Firefly totally not even going to sleep there, but that is okay. So he's playing in the other room with the kids and I can get to work in here. So first, flowers. Okay, I still have these roses from last Shabbat that look amazing. So I'm just gonna give them a fresh trim and some clean water. And then they got peonies back at Trader Joe's. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, there were some that were like already blown out and they were gorgeous. Uh, but I got these, cause these will last longer. So I'm very excited about those. And then I got two like huge tulip bouquets. So I'm gonna put those in some water real quick before we get started on the cooking. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday or not. And by yesterday, I mean like 10 minutes ago in this video, but uh, on Shavuot, it's very big deal to have like a lot of flowers. So we have a lot of flowers. And that is because Mount Sinai, our Sinai, was covered with flowers when we received the Torah. So we decorate our home with lots of flowers and greenery. And yeah, so I went a little crazy at Trader Joe's this morning buying all the pretty flowers. I was like, it's for the holiday, it's for the holiday. So, <laughs> so yeah, definitely having fun with that. And we still have some tulips over here on the kitchen table that are my daughter's. They're super blown out and they're starting to like fall off their petals, but it's still really, really, really gorgeous. Here, I'll show you. Anyways, flowers to water, let's do this. looks a little bit like a florist in here and I am loving it. Okay, this is fantastic. I'm feeling super stoked and ready for Shavuot now, except we still need food. So let's cook. I did just throw some roasted green beans in the oven a few minutes ago. So we will have that with our lunch tomorrow. Tonight I was gonna make a green salad with uh, some feta cheese, cucumber, tomato, very simple. Don't really even need to do that at all right now. I'll just wash the lettuce for that at some point later this afternoon. But what I did want to share with you guys was the making of the lasagna. Okay, this is just how I make lasagna. There is no right or wrong way to make lasagna unless perhaps you are Italian, in which case I'm going to apologize in advance. But <laughs> but I, this is just what I do when I make lasagna. Okay, so, oh, real quick, because I know I'm gonna get questions. The ice water in the tulips. If you put your tulips in ice water, it helps them stand upright longer. And if they're drooping and you switch it out with some ice water, they'll perk back up. So yeah, ice water is my pro tip for tulips. It's been a lot of years working in florists back in the day. Anyways, moving on to lasagna. Okay, I'm gonna start with the, what am I start? I'm gonna throw some water on the stove to boil for the noodles. For the noodles, I am using the Jovio brand gluten-free lasagna noodles. So I'm gonna throw some water on to boil so I can get those noodles started. Cause so I'm just gonna go ahead and fully cook the noodles and then uh, lay them out on a towel to cool before I start kind of putting everything together. Now, while that water is getting to boil, I will start working on the sauce. Now I keep things simple and I just use like the Trader Joe's marinara sauce. However, I like to soup it a little bit because you can hide vegetables in there. And my kids don't know. Actually, they do know because I do tell them because they'll be eating the lasagna and they'll be like, this is the greatest lasagna you've ever made. And I'll be like, thanks. It's probably those carrots and green beans I put in there. And they're all like, what? But then they love it, so they keep eating it. So anyways, 
I start with this, but then I also add in a couple of cans of carrots and a can of green beans. And I'm gonna look in the fridge. I know I have some leftover spinach in there, like washed and prepped and ready to go. So I'm gonna put all of that in there as well. Now, I can't just leave the stuff all chunky in there because then people really will freak out, myself included. So I'm gonna blend it all up in the blender with the sauce and then it just becomes sauce. I used to lay out the spinach on the lasagna because I like the color and stuff in there too, but then my kids were like, we don't like the green stuff. So now I just throw it in the blender too. All right, let's do it. Okay, so that is the sauce ready to go. And I'm just gonna kind of clean up over there because pot of water still not boiling. Um, so I'll turn the camera back on when I'm ready to start assembling things after the pasta is done. Okay, these noodles are just about finished, so let's go ahead and start layering our lasagna. So basically what I'm gonna do is put down a layer of sauce and then a layer of noodles and then start putting in the cheeses. I've got some ricotta and some mozzarella. I'm gonna put a little bit of mushrooms on one section of it because I really like mushrooms, but nobody else does. I don't know what is wrong with them. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you are pro mushrooms or not in your veggie lasagna. Uh, and then yeah, just, just layering on up until I'm out of stuff. And then I do another layer of cheese on top and some Italian seasoning. So let's go do it. Well, scratch that on the mushrooms actually, because I just pulled them out, started washing them and they're moldy. How could a mushroom be moldy? It's totally a thing apparently. I haven't had them that long. It's a little disappointing, but i um, not going to put them in my lasagna. Okay, let's do everything else then. Okay, so that is my lasagna. I missed filming a big chunk there in the middle, but you get the idea. You're just layer, repeat, layer, repeat, layer, repeat. And again, I would normally put mushrooms on at least part of it because I love chopped up mushrooms in there and gives it that nice kind of meaty texture, but they were moldy, so we're not gonna do that. So, so that's it. I'm just gonna put that in the fridge and then here about an hour before candle lighting, I'll put it in the oven. That way I can just pull it out of the oven right before I light my candles for the holiday tonight and then we will eat it for dinner. And as I was just finishing up that and I was thinking about setting the table for tonight, I realized we don't have dairy plates to set the table <laughs> with the dairy meal. I mean, like we do have dairy plates. We have plates that we use for dairy, but they are not at all pretty and not at all what I would want on my table for a holiday. So I do have nice plastic plates and I'm gonna use those instead. And that is okay. We'll use our regular Shabbat plates for the rest of our meals throughout the holiday because the rest of our meals are meats. But for this, we will use the nicer plastic, which at least will make clean up a breeze tonight. So that's one perk. All right. Well, gosh. All right, let's um, let's set the table and then that's it. What time is it? It's one o'clock. So this is good. This is good because I do want to go into the holiday like feeling relaxed, <sighs> which I'm kind of giggling about because Mr. Firefly still has to make um, Moroccan fish for tomorrow night. He was going to make that this afternoon. And he has not started. 
but that is okay. That is okay. I will end up probably just being in here with him while he cooks, just sort of cleaning up after him so that it's not a whole thing when he is done. Uh, yeah. So, so that's, that's it. I'm going to go work on setting the table now. Let's go. Okay, one thing that I am gonna add to the table here behind me is some honey, just a little jar of honey. We're not gonna necessarily be using it. I just want it to be on the table to remind us of the sweetness of Torah over the next couple of days here of Shavuot. Okay, so that is it for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video now and just kind of go on about the rest of the kind of mundane, boring prep for the holiday. Like, I don't know, picking up sippy cups off the floor. <laughs> Um, but that is it. So thank you guys so much for coming along as I got ready for Shavuot this year. I'm very excited to jump into the holiday and just spend time with my family and learning and just relaxing. I feel like we all could use just some big time relaxing right now. It's been a lot of go, go, go for a long time and we're, we're ready for some relaxing. Okay, so with that, I am going to go ahead and close this video. Thank you all so much for being here. As always, I super appreciate it. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload. So anyways, oh. So anyways. What else was I gonna say? I lost my train of thought. Um, so, okay.